So I'm finally going to get to uh, do a project that I've been wanting to do all winter. Well, I finally got the drill bit for it. Yeah, I've been kind of slacking. Just waiting on the nicer weather. But I was picking up supplies all winter for it. I'm going to put all these LED lights in this air dam. I think I have 14 of them. So they're going to be spaced out about like that. But I'm going to lay down some uh, masking tape and mark it out. And I'll come back when I get the uh, tape on and the lights laid out. So that's about how I want them. Just eyeballing this, I'm not measuring it. I'm gonna start marking them out so I, you know, have a reference where to cut them. All right, I got my spots marked out. And I'm gonna. Maybe I'll measure between them, just to make sure I got them evenly spaced. And then I'm going to drill it. Alright. All ready to go. I'm going to start putting the lights in. Well, almost ready to put the lights in. First, I'm gonna take and deep burr it. And then we'll put the lights in. All right, there we go. They're all in. My fingers are killing me. <laughs> it's not easy getting these uh, lights in these grommets. It's all in, all together. All I gotta do is wire. That's gonna be fun. Cause I'm gonna solder every connection. Since, you know, this hangs so low on the car, and I mean, you really should. Car. No. Truck. Whatever. But I mean, you really should solder your connections anyway. You don't want water getting in there. And I got, uh, I got these for it too. Oop, there you go. I got these for it too to go down here on the ends. Not really sure where I'm going to mount them. Not right there because that's where it bolts to the bumper. Somewhere. I'd like to do it somewhere where you can see the back side of it too. I don't know. I gotta figure that out still. Start wiring. All right, so I got it all wired together and soldered up. And once I uh, once I put the uh, liquid tape on and it's all dry, I'm gonna take and button it up with some zip ties and all that. But it's all together and it works. I already tested it before I went through the rest of the way with it. Got it tested and uh, yeah, it's gonna tape it up now. Liquid tape it up. Or I've never used this stuff before, so I don't know. I've heard it's good. I don't know. I'm gonna try it out. Anyway, I'll get that done and uh, get back to this install. So it's been a couple days since the last video. And, and you know, it's because I was at work and this stuff needed four hours dry time. Well, it's had 48 hours dry time. 
<clears throat> so that's all together. Came through and I zip tied it. I think the wires are going to end up showing. So I'm going to try to maybe hang them and put some holes and zip tie them this way because this is actually the top of it. That's where it bolts to the bottom of the bumper. Anyway, that's how it's coming along. I'm going to try to get it put on today. I got a truck over here waiting already. So let me get started on that and uh, I'll bring it back when I got it together. All right, so I went ahead and finished. It's all wired, it's all lit up. That's how it turned out. The big, uh, the big ones right there and there are also turn signals. And they're double sided. I'm not going to go out there because it's raining. They got the amber in the front, red in the back. I think it looks pretty good. That's some new headlights that I put in. Pretty cool. Alright guys, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later.